Hamburg's latest landmark is the Elbe Philharmonie Concert Hall. Herbert, who doesn't want to state his real name, is a pensioner who's come to see the high-profile project that apparently symbolizes Germany's prosperity, a prosperity that he has no share in. His wallet contains all of two euros and 20 cents. That's all I have left this month. I have to wait until Friday for money and make sure I don't overspend so it lasts the whole month. No money in the bank. <laughs> no, it's all gone. Maybe except 65 cents. How about Lux coming here to watch the boats? He spent his fair share of time on the world's oceans in his working days. Before that, he trained as a welder at this renowned Hamburg shipyard. It was a good job, well paid, not when I was working as an apprentice, but I learned a profession, and that was a good thing. Did he ever think about what it would all be like when he retired? Not at all. I didn't think about getting old, period. Today, Herbert lives in a small rented apartment in Stahlshoop. 45 years ago, the area was considered a model of modern housing design. But now it has an image as a rundown neighborhood associated with a high crime rate. The rents are relatively cheap, but even so, Herbert cannot afford any hobbies or holidays. His only luxury is his cat. And now and then he does treat himself to some cigarettes. Almost half his 900 euros a month pension goes on rent. Does he sometimes think he won't manage? Yes, sometimes. I start to despair and think how bad everything is. But then I say to myself, there are others who are worse off than me. Once a week, Herbert visits this food bank where homeless and poor people can stock up on all the supplies they want for two euros. Herbert worked his entire life, but even so, he can't get by on his pension. And he's not the only one. Ten years ago, some 10% of Germany's pensioners were officially poor. Now the figure is over 15%, an increase greater than in any other demographic in Germany. What was it like when he first came here? To be honest, I felt a bit scared. Why? It felt like begging. But I got used to it. A matter of pride? Yes. But you get used to it. The social workers here say the retirees don't just lack money. They also feel they're becoming social outcasts. The safety net is gone. They don't feel part of society. The gap between rich and poor is noticeably widening. Does she think the general election will change anything? It would be nice, but I don't see any major change happening. Things were different when Herbert was a boy and his family lived in the heart of town and in the heart of the community. That was the entrance to the house. His father died prematurely, but his mother got by on her widow's pension. Now Habit is worried about his grandchildren and their generation. Today's youngsters, in their early 20s with qualifications, what kind of pension will they get? Things look really bad. Pensions only increase minimally. While politicians in Germany are currently talking about pension increases, Herbert doubts that they'll keep their pre-election promises. <laughs>